Hey Dong! In this video, we're going to talk about a middle level master concept number one. This is going to be a new series of videos that I'm going to be implementing. So, so far, like all of the concepts we've played with for as long as we've had this channel have all been things I would generally assume that a student can also just follow along with, right? Now, obviously, there are some things about like how to teach a concept, blah, 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 that are a lot more master oriented. But so far, all of the concepts, if you're a student of Gumdo, are things you can probably pick up. These things are going to be a little bit more for people who have uh, already been you know, a Gumdo practitioner for a good number of years that it'll be good for them to now look back on and reevaluate for themselves. To take a somewhat arbitrary point to have mid-level, uh, depending on training and stuff like that, I would probably say if you've hit about eight years of training, this is probably a good time for you to reevaluate many of the ideas that have been introduced to you and kind of play with them, expand upon them, again, reevaluate again uh, the idea behind them, again, why you should do it, why it might be a prototype for younger, younger folk, right? So newer folk and maybe ways you can change it so it's more effective for you. These aren't going to be necessarily long videos. The idea is to like reintroduce these ideas, right? So the idea that I want to cover this, uh, this, in this video is going to be something as simple as preparation for your cut. Now I know that's going to be like, skip, <laughs> like I know how to prepare for my cut. You actually may have a little bit more to, to think about. Again, when we talk about cutting, especially when we're introducing it to students, there's, it kind of ellipses a lot of information. And these are things that I want you to reevaluate when you're you know, a mid-level master. So what I'd like for you to think about, right? So as you're preparing for your center cut, so most of us, when we're just not really thinking about it, we just do something like this, right? Which is not good. Uh, you may be like, that looked fine to me. Uh, so this is, not okay. uh, this is not okay for a few reasons, right? So because, so notice how much the sword is spinning around the body, right? As opposed to necessarily having reach or having necessarily you know, good kinesiology with the body. This is the sword equivalent of a bicep curl, right? This is working on smaller muscle groups. It's not okay for a mid-level master. Th so this kind of cut, I would be sort of okay with for maybe up until you're on Sang Su 3. And at that point, I'm kind of like, all right, let's clean this up a little bit. Um, but this is something that I would like to think about, right? So this is actually how I teach my students. Uh, so exhibit A, right, is it's a cut. We're cutting, right? I can get some pretty decent power behind it. Right? Cool. Uh, versus something like this. See the difference, right? So for one of them, you're going to notice that the cut is really close to the body. Now this is not good for a few reasons. Okay for one reason, but we're going to back right on that, right? Uh, this is not good because you don't have enough reach to necessarily hit the target. It's not good because you're using smaller muscle groups, which means you're going to tire more quickly. You're more likely to damage yourself because you're using smaller muscle groups. And also just is not good for your long-term health. Um, the one caveat with that is if you do cut close to the body, if you needed to, you could thrust out into a thrust or something like that. Um, that's a very, very specific circumstance where you're close range. You're close range, you see an opening, go in for that thrust. That's very specific. Versus what we're doing with B, right? So if we're here, so instead of, so notice I'm already curling the tip back. You don't want to do that, right? You really want to push, push the sword up. So I don't play basketball, full disclosure, but in theory, from what I would imagine, uh, when you throw a basketball, right, it's here. You don't do this, right? You're not that, that salt person, which don't sue me. Uh, so it has to be up here. This is gonna give you a lot more control, a lot more accuracy. Um, why? Bigger muscle groups, right? This is engaging the deep shoulder blade, right? So not the top shoulder as much, it is gonna do a little bit. Here, notice again, the elbow is gonna be tucked in, 
right? So if I'm really back here, right? I can engage more of that deep shoulder. I feel more linear motion this way, as opposed to this, right? So notice again, there's a slight deactivation of the deep shoulder, more activation on the top shoulder, and this is gonna be more wrist motion than it is deep shoulder motion. So let's do the same thing with the cut, right? So if we're here, this is not good because you're part yourself with the, with the guard and that's gonna be very painful. So here, bra braise it up here, right? So notice the difference with my elbows. Here, if I'm doing kind of exhibit A, here, here, right? So noticing that the, so uh, the elbows, if you're doing it properly, it's still gonna be pretty close to your ears, right? Um, but here, notice again how high it is, and this is gonna let you engage more of your muscle group, or more of your deep shoulder. Here, cut, cut, cut. And you can also notice I'm engaging my core more with that because I actually have the capability of doing so as opposed to a rolling cut like that. Again, if you don't believe me or you feel like I'm you know, throwing weight where there shouldn't be weight, uh, try against targets, try, against, try it in sparring. Like see how long you can last doing these curl cuts versus these longer cuts. Especially if you have to do a lot of you know, cuts for your test, uh, you just wanna you know, work on a lot of cuts to work on your endurance. Uh, all of these things are gonna be better off if you're engaging your deeper muscle groups. And for now, because we're just talking about cuts, we're only going to be talking about, again, the deep shoulder. Um, so hopefully that's making sense. I'm trying to keep these relatively condensed uh, so the information actually goes fully forward. Uh, so I guess with that, uh, if you have any questions, obviously leave them in the comments. I, you know, I thrive on, on um, discourse, right? Um, yeah, so I guess with that, uh, make sure you stay safe, stay humble, and keep training. Hey, don't.